Second night I've dreamt about you, babe I don't know how I should tell you, babe But lately I get lost thinking about you I admit that I can be without you The air that I breathe doesn't mean nothing If you're not here, giving me something I can hold on to Baby, please don't leave Won't be needing that, that can stay here with my stuff. We won't be definitely won't be needing a broken ratchet strap. I hope not. Chuck that away. Yeah. This is what we'll be needing. Some feet. Right, so Ben's been keeping it in quite good condition all season. And uh I've got to go have a little play with it this afternoon. So we're just getting some feet ready. Got three left facing ones as you see and two right facing ones. Ben's just gonna find me some bolts, have a bit of lunch and then I'll be getting on my way and uh, we'll get on with today's video. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. You know what I'm going to say, but if you haven't subscribed already, then it'd be much much appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button. You can also ring a little bell, and you'll get notified when we've uploaded a video. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be much appreciated if you could uh, give it a like. Any questions, leave it in the comments. But today, I am going off ripping. So, this morning we've been packing, packing some jacket spuds. Um, ben has been ploughing, so yeah, we're getting on with that now, and um, the rest of the crew is uh, grading some spuds, but uh, I've been allowed to go out with the uh, KV Ripper and go, go and rip over the second to last spud field, um, which we actually finished digging yesterday, so the spud harvest is almost at an end. Ready. It's gone very fast, but um, well, hopefully you can't hear the radio. Don't want to get copyright strike. But yeah, I'll head on. Well, we've got to pop into a five-acre field first, which Ben's ploughing next, and I have got to just rip round the headland where they've been head trimming. Um, because obviously that would have compacted it down a little bit. And after that, I'll be heading up to the 27 acre on cow farm number one and ripping that over. Ben has already done, I don't know, a third of it. So I've got a nice afternoon on that. And hopefully it all goes to plan. So, went into the five acre, ripped the, um, where they've been traveling with the hedge trimmer. Obviously with head trim you go around a few times don't you? Obviously we're packing it down. So we did that and we're now in the 27 acre on the main cow farm. And uh, I've done a bit. I decided to get the drone up right from the start. So I've got that over and done with. Like I've said before. It's pretty easy if you've got GPS whereas I currently don't. So it involves a bit of this, a bit of knee action on the uh, steering wheel and all sorts. Um, but yeah, you've seen uh, get a technique going for that. <laughs> but this is going to take me a few hours to do. But um, yeah, I'm quite excited for it really. I haven't done any ripping in a while. And uh, yeah, I quite enjoy ripping to be fair. A bit mind a big old ripper. And especially, I I think this KV ripper looks particularly smart up behind this New Orleans. I guess it's just the blue and the red go well together. It's always nice when the kit and the tractor like look smart with each other, complement each other a bit. But um, Ben had to go off the cow farm number two to pick up a rotavator 
and just rotate a little bit of hedge or next to a hedge where he's about to go ploughing so he's on doing that and then I think he has spent the plough on so he'll soon soon plough five acres up near by the gate obviously where we've been travelling a lot with trailers because like I said we only well this field had two varieties in it um, and then the weather changed so we finished digging this field yesterday which leaves us one field to go which is about 10 acres so was if we had a good day in it it'll um, break the back of the work and uh, then harvest 2020 for the spud job will be over and done with but you will see that as a video so um, yeah we've got through the summer and now it's into autumn drilling. One crop harvested, time to get another one in. see it's pretty small in comparison to this puppy so there's that to do that one could possibly be spun round so uh, I'll just get my um, spare parts out and we'll whip it off Yeah. 
there we go and that's a quick change you can see the difference in that it's a fair size rub the camera off looks a bit dirty obviously made it a lot easier with the d-wolt someone actually asked in the um plowing well when we got the plow ready what um make this is it was a d-wolt dcf eight 899 so if you want one that's what it is uh very good a bit of mud in my socket but now we've got a bit of um hill to play in so we're all set to go and uh, let's get playing so i've done my short work and now i'm just doing four laps around the headland uh, they've been in their hedge trimming and obviously with the spuds the headlands get compacted down quite a lot and they will need to net up quite nicely but um, I mentioned earlier that this field is 27 acres on um, our first cow farm this summer and spring we've had it we've rented a 35 acre field for the spuds and now that, that is the biggest field well yeah, I think that is one of the biggest fields that we've ever had. But what I was going to say is, is that this 27 acre is one of or the biggest field that we farm consistently every year. Um, as we're based in Devon, which most of you should know unless you're a new subscriber. We're in Devon. The fields around here are generally 10, 12, 15 acres. And then we obviously have some smaller ones like 5, 7, 8, 9. Um, so yeah, this is probably the biggest field that we farm consistently each year. Uh, some people like big fields, some people don't. But um, I was talking to Ben and it is, it is nice to have a big field that you can uh, crack on in and um, have a fair go at. But then we quite enjoy having our 10 acre fields, it's a nice size. But then, like, men's people plowing a five acre field, and that's just awkward. And it's sort of triangle shaped, so that really is a bit of a hard patch. That really is an awkward field to work in with your sprayer, your combine, your plow, especially. But yeah, this is the biggest field that we farm consistently each year. 35 acre field, you can tell that was a big one. But I know a lot of you up country, um, you have like 50 acres, 70 acres. So, um, yeah, that must be quite nice to get stuck into. But we're getting to the end of this one now. And like I say, I'm going to do four laps around the headland. That would be pretty much 12 meters, and it'll get that nice and uh, ripped up, get it aired up. As we were digging, like half of this like half the field as one variety and the other half the other the road crew were sort of tracking along the headland to get to either side so there's been quite a lot of travel on the headlands but it has ripped up nicely and uh, it'll be able to dry out and uh, that'll do the soil some good i think there's going to be some lime to go on here and then ready for Ben to get on with the plan.